So hey, what's up guys, it's Rage back to YouTube video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to fix lag, FPS drops, FPS stutters, every kind of issue regarding Fortnite. All the performance issues are going to be fixed after you watch this video. So please watch till the end to make your game smoother and also make your windows overall smoother as well. And also if you didn't know, I have created a discord server so if you want to join that, link will be in the description and now let's just get straight into the video. Alright, alright, we're back in the video now. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to update your Nvidia graphics card drivers, how to turn off in-game overlay to get the best fps possible this will only work for nvidia users so if you don't have an nvidia gpu you can just skip this step and you don't have to worry about anything just skip this step so what you have to do is just go in your search bar and then type in geforce experience now press enter and wait for the geforce experience to be opened now just wait for it to open all right so once you're here what you have to do is just go to your drivers and then click press on check for updates now it says you have the latest kit geforce game driver but for you you might not have it so please check for drivers if there's a new driver to install please install it and yeah it will give you better performance than what you're having but the thing is the latest driver won't give you the best performance for it you need to install a specific drivers there's like three specific drivers which you can install which are the best and you have to find out which one gives you the best performance now I'm not gonna go over that in this video but subscribe to the channel with notifications on because I'm gonna be uploading that next video so wait for that you're gonna use FPS boost from that but yeah just check for updates download the driver once that's done go over to your, your settings once you're here uh, just go over to in game overlay and if it's turned on turn it off if you use it don't turn it off but if you don't even use it then please turn it off because it takes a lot of uh, power it's not a, a huge amount but it's still like five to ten percent of performance so yeah turn it off if you want better performance and if you use it you shouldn't turn it off now let's just get into the other step all right guys so we're back in the video so what you have to do is just go to the link in the description and you'll be right here all right so what you have to do is just scroll down till you see this till we see F msi Mo utility v3 what you have to do is just click on this and then you'll be right here all right so now just press download and then it will start downloading so as you can see it just downloaded so what you have to do once it's download is just press on the thing and also to be able to open the file you have to install winrar so if you don't have winrar just search it up download it if you don't know how just search it up on youtube but yeah once you install winrar you will be able to open the file you just download it so now what you have to do is just go to extract to and then you'll see this so now what you have to do is just extract it to whatever you want for me i'll extract it to my desktop you can do it as well so i'm going to press desktop press ok and then it will just extract it won't even take a second so once that's done what you have to do is just you can close this so now just go over to your desktop and then you'll see this all right so once you're in your desktop you'll see this application now what you have to do is just right click on it and then press on run as administrator so what you have to do is just right click on it press on run as administrator press yes and then this will open all right so once you open the application you'll just have to find your graphics card so for me it's right here so i'm just gonna press it now let's listen to me carefully you can only do this tweak if in supported modes on your graphics card it says msi so as you can see on my graphics card it says msi on supported modes, so i can do this tweak if you if it doesn't say msi please do not do this tweak i'm not responsible for anything if you have msi on it you can do this tweak so what, what you have to do is you check the msi thing just check it and then again go to line based msi and then it will set be set to undefined just what you have to do is just set to high you have to press apply and then you can close it and then you're done with the tweak all right guys so for this tweak i'm going to tell you guys how to use all your cores so you'll get the best performance out of your cpu well what you have to do is just go over to your search bar and then type in ms config now once you do that it'll say system configuration just press on that all right guys so once you're here what you have to do is just go over to boot and then go over to advanced option now you'll see this so now what you have to do is just press on the number of processors so once you press number of processor you'll see this and it will be set to one for you guys so what you have to do is just set it to the max possible so just if you have six set it to six if you have eight set it to eight if you have 12 like me tw set it to 12 but make sure it's on the maximum number press ok and then you can just press apply press ok and then you can just restart your device and you'll be good to go all right so if you play on directx 11 in fortnite i'm going to show you guys a tweak that you can do which disables the full screen optimization so it will help you out a lot all right so what do you do well what you have to do is just go in your file explorer and then go to wherever you install fortnite so for most of you guys it'll be on your c drive so what you have to do is just go in your c drive or wherever you install fortnite so i installed it in my c drive so once you're in your c drive or wherever you installed it i'm gonna go in my program files you just have to go over to wherever fortnite is so for me it's in program files so now go over to epic games go over to fortnite and then go over to fortnite game then binaries then 164 and then you'll be right here so now what you have to do is just scroll down until you find fortnite client 
N164Shipping.exe. Four of these will look the same with the same icon, but you have to make sure it's the one which has the most size. So it is 181,000 kilobytes. So once, what do you have to do once you find it is just right click on it and then click on property. Now, once you're here, what you have to do is just go over to compatibility. All right. So once you're here, just check disable full screen optimization. Go over to change high DPI settings. Check on override high DPI scaling behavior and then just turn it on. Press OK. Press apply and press OK. All right. So once that's done, just head over to your Windows button and then go over to settings. Now, once you're here, go over to system and then go over to the notifications. Now, turn all the notifications off. All right. So once that's done, just go back and then go over to app. All right. So once you're here, just head over to startup and then disable all the startup apps uh, that you don't need. If you need some apps, don't turn them off, but turn most of the use unuseful apps off. So once that's done, again, head over back, then go to gaming. So once you're in gaming, just turn game bar off. Captures, please turn it off. Now game mode, turn it off, but it might help you. So you turn it on and then see your performance in game. So find the difference, see what's best for you, and you'll be good to go. All right, so the next thing that you can do is just go over to your file explorer. Once that's done, go over to this PC, right click on it, click on properties. All right, so once that's done, head over to advanced system settings. Settings. All right, so once you click that, head over to advanced and then go over to performance, click on settings and you'll be right here. So now just click on adjust for best performance and then check smooth edges of screen font. Click on apply and then wait for it to apply and just once that's done just click ok and you'll be good to go but guys please be sure to turn on smooth edges of screen fonts as your text will look really bad if you don't turn it on but other stuff are just not needed and it just lowers a bit of performance it's not a very high it doesn't reduce a lot of performance but still it does reduce a bit of performance so if you want the good aesthetics don't turn it off but yeah for the best performance you should turn it off now press ok press ok and you'll be good to go everything will be saved all right so this tweak helps you to lower your input delay increase your fps and also help you to get a less ram usage so you'll have free a lot of free memory it will help you with input lag and also it will help you with your fps so what you have to do just click the link in the description download this application so just download it and then follow my steps all right guys so once you download it just open it up also, if it doesn't open for you, there will be like an icon right here next to your microphone and other icons. So there will be an icon right here. Just double click on it and then the application will open. All right, guys. So once you open it, what you have to do is just set the free memory is lower than to your half of your memory. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM, set it to 8196. And if you have 8 gigs of RAM, set, set it to 4096. Or if you have less amount of RAM, just set it to half of your RAM. Once that's done, go over to one timer resolution and then set it to 0.5. Also check in every custom timer resolution. Once that's done, also check start ILSC, minimize, check that, and also check launch ILC. So once that's done, click on start, click on purge standby list, and it will purge the standby list. And so once that's done, you can just minimize it and it will just run in the background. It will help you to increase your FPS, lower your input delay, and all the other good stuff for you, and it will just increase your performance overall. Alright, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to lower your RAM usage. So if you have like high RAM usage and your Fortnite is, you know, uh, taking a lot of RAM and there's not enough RAM for Fortnite, well, don't worry, this uh, method will fix it. So what you have to do is just go to the link in the description and you'll be right here. Now, this is a software which you can use to get less memory usage. So what you have to do is just click on the download thing and click on the setup.exe one. Wait for it to download, let it download, and once it downloads, it will be on the bottom of your screen. Just press on it, and then press on yes. Once that's done, press next, press next, press next, and then press install. Alright, so it will say completed. Now just press next, and now check if run mem reduct and press finish. Also, sorry if there's any background noise, but yeah. So if it says update, just click on no, and you will see this. So now you can see my memory usage is actually 31%. And my computer is using like 5 gigabytes of RAM, but once I click on clean memory, press yes, it just gave me 2 gigs of free memory. And once I press that and I waited for a few seconds, as you can see, it gave me like 2 gigabytes of free memory. Alright, so before you're launching Fortnite, just open up Mem Reduct and then press clean memory, press yes, and then it'll clean your memory and it will make you get the lowest RAM usage possible. So do that, you'll be good to go, you'll get less memory usage and also better performance on Fortnite. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, optimize your graphics card for the best possible performance so this is only for nvidia users so if you have an nvidia gpu please follow this step so what do you have to do for the best performance possible out of your gpu well just right click
click on your desktop and then just go over to nvidia control panel please wait for it to open as it might take some time all right so once you open nvidia control panel you'll be right here now just copy all my settings so I turn off anti aliasing gamma correction so i'm just going to turn it off right now so once that's done again scroll down and you'll see this now open gl rendering gpu just set it from auto select to your graphics cards once that's done again scroll down until you find power management mode now once you're in power management mode just set it from optimal power to prefer maximum performance all right so once that's done again go uh, go over to prefer refresh rate and then set it to highest available and you'll be good to go so now I'll just turn up texture quality filtering quality to high performance now again scroll down and if you if your vertical sync is on turn it off and you'll be good to go press apply and these settings will be applied now once that's done go over to adjust image setting alright so once you're here just check on this and then set it from quality so if it's it's gonna be this for you guys so slide from quality to performance once that's done again click on the use the advanced 3d settings press apply and then you'll have the best possible NVIDIA control panel setting. Alright guys, so now I'm going to teach you guys how to optimize your GPU for the best possible performance. So what you have to do is just go over to your search button and then type in graphics settings. Now press enter and you'll be right here. Alright guys, so once you're here, what you have to do is just press on the browse button. So now just go over where you install Fortnite. For me, I installed it in my C drive. So I'm just going into my C drive. So C drive, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then you'll be right here. Here. now just click on the fortnite client 164 shipping which is the most size one and then just double click on it and you'll see this now what you have to do is click on options and then just click on high performance and click on save and you'll be good to go you'll get fortnite the most priority and your gpu will be optimized all right that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this video helps you um i hope the new season is really great for you guys i hope you guys are having fun so yeah bye guys